I was in the Navy and came to the Philippines, fell in love with the people and their culture. And when I thought about us being a witness to the uttermost parts of the earth, this was the first place on my mind. We had a young lady that was Filipino come into the ministry of U-Turn for Christ. She introduced us to her father who was a pastor here on the island of Samar. And so we began coming over and doing pastor's conferences, uh, being able to teach verse by verse, chapter by chapter, and book by book that we learned from Pastor Chuck to understand God's word and then communicate it with those under our circumference of influence. We saw uh, men that were hungry for the Word of God. And so we began a Bible school and started training up young men to become pastors. And then we started placing them in remote rural villages. They call them barangays here. And then as we watched some of those guys just uh, mature and develop, and uh, we built a church for them. Uh, we've always believed that God you know, made it very clear that we weren't just to go and win the lost, but we're to go and make disciples of all nations. And so we knew that we had to have Bible teaching churches so that men and women that came to the Lord would be able to really grow in their knowledge and the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe missions is critical for the church because it helps us to get outside the four walls to realize that the family of God is much bigger, that the Lord intended for us to spread the gospel, to share the love of Christ that we've received and the intimate relationship and fellowship that we have with others so that they can experience it while they're here on the earth and then have heaven on top of that. Just been amazing to watch the ministry of YouTube for Christ develop from a small village in San Joaquin on the western side of the island to a Bible college to the eastern side which is La Luigan and, and this has become kind of the home base and several churches have come out of this ministry. It's amazing. It's all over the island. I love that I get to bring my church family back home to meet my church family here and for them to be a part of the prison ministry, to watch uh, some of our young guys share their testimony, give a message in the prisons and, and see all the guys respond, raise their hands and, and, and acknowledge they, they, they need Jesus. It's, it's, it's awesome to watch. Uh, one of my favorite places to take the teens is to the prisons. And to think as we look behind those bars and you see just glaring back at you with a, please tell me somebody cares, tell me somebody loves me, tell, tell me that I'm not forgotten. Uh, the heart just breaks in seeing them, but being able to minister to them and then watching the smile come on their face as the Word of God is presented, oh, what, what a joy it is to the people there. I believe we need to do anything and everything we can to set the arena for people that normally wouldn't go to church to be able to come and hear the Word of God. Uh, to hear the gospel message and then be able to respond uh, is one of the greatest things that we could possibly do. And so we do outreach, we do crusade. Men and women come and they see the love of God and they see that we have uh, nothing to gain, that we're here to bless them. They're interested in why we would be that way. And we get to share Jesus with them. You know, a lot of our team has never stepped foot in front of a crowd like at our crusade and where there's 3,000 plus people uh, out there in the audience hearing Christian music played, testimonies, and then the message preached. 
and just hundreds of hands raise up and, and to have that opportunity it's, it's overwhelming. If you would have asked me two years ago that I'd be in the Philippines, you know, let alone the fact I'm also sharing the gospel, I would have said you're crazy. There was a, a good period of time where I walked away from the faith and never truly understood what it meant to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And, and then uh, last year, uh, the Lord just grabbed a hold of my heart and He saved me and He's changed my life in so many amazing ways. And, the Lord really put it on my heart about the, the Philippines, and I was like, you know what, Lord, I, I want to do this. I want to go and share the gospel. I want to go and share Christ. And I uh, talked to Pastor Cisco, talked to Haley, talked to just about anyone I could talk to, just how I could be a part of the team. And I just, I just prayed like crazy for about two months and just about every day, just, Lord, if, if it's your will for me to be here, just, you know, let, let it be done. And next thing you know, just, all the funds just came, and, uh, and here I am. When you come into the mission field, into the poverty that's here, you recognize and understand there's only one that they can cry out to, and that's the Lord Jesus, and that's where we're leading them. Hi, I'm Tom Price. I'm the editor and the founder of Calvary Chapel Magazine. Thank you for watching our video. Order the magazine with the links below. Please also consider simply supporting this ministry, reaching the world for Jesus Christ. Each like and share helps us share what the Lord is doing through His people.